In chapter seven of Northanger Abbey, upon leaving the pump room and walking, the women encounter their brothers, John Thorpe and James Moreland. Isabella Thorpe and James assess each other quite positively, while Catherine Moreland didn't notice at all. John Thorpe, Isabella's arrogant and boastful brother, is very interested in Catherine. He blathers on and on, and Catherine is innocently unresponsive. The four set off to see Mrs. Thorpe, and the Thorpe siblings efficiently set up reasons to separate Catherine into John's company for a carriage ride and James with Isabella. Catherine asks John about Udolpho, which he disparages. He thinks novels are stupid. He reveals his ignorance by saying he won't read Udolpho, which was written by Anne Radcliffe. But if he does read a novel, it will be by Anne Radcliffe. Catherine points out his errors, but John continues to speak as if he's knowledgeable about novels. He's also rude to his mother when they all arrive at her lodgings. Catherine is displeased, but she doesn't say anything. When alone with her brother, Catherine does not share her opinions because John is her brother's mm. friend, and her friend Isabella's brother. Catherine learns James is taken with Isabella and is pleased by this, then returns to reading her Radcliffe novel. Although Catherine Moreland is not impressed by her friend's brother, she remains quiet. She does not point out the errors in John Thorpe's actions with regard to his driving, boasting, or even his treatment of his own mother. She does, however, gently correct him about mm. Anne Radcliffe's novel. Not because novels matter more to her, but because of a character trait that continues as the novel advances. Catherine wants to help. Elsewhere, when Isabella Thorpe engages in behavior that is improper, Catherine's first thought is to explain it to her. Likewise, when she learns John has romantic intentions toward her, she quickly wants to explain. And similarly, when Captain Frederick Tilney soon pays untoward attention to an engaged woman, Catherine worries for all the parties involved. She is kind-hearted. This chapter also highlights an ongoing trait of John Thorpe's. He's boastful and dishonest, willing to say whatever suits his purposes. The Mysteries of Udolpho by Anne Radcliffe was a well-known Gothic novel, still taught as a prime example of the Gothic novel itself. He is apparently unaware of this, even as he says he will read one of Radcliffe's novels. What a guy. 